Okay, l let's get rolling. All right, so let's go over the uh, algo. So I'm almost ready to wrap, um, get the updated version out to you guys. You guys already have this version right here in your hands. All right. We have this where it prints the ATRs for us, and we look for trade setups uh, on the ATR setup. So we, we already have this. We know to look for offset color speed bars. I'll show you the big difference in the two. This is what we have uh, you, on your own computers now. You just look for offset color speed bars at the zone. Pretty much everybody knows how to do that. Um, I have tons of videos on it. So that's what we have in the room, and that's what you have on your own computers. So if you look at the uh, updated version, the ATR is a little more smoother, a little easier to uh, see some of the wrongly positioned traders getting caught or algos getting caught because these really pop off really nice on uh, these offset color speed bars. So that's what we have now. Let me show you what we are going to be sending out to you guys. We actually have the indicator and a strategy so you can test the strategy with this also. So we know, I'll go through the whole training day. This is uh, March 23rd on the ES big contract. So let's go through the whole trading day from start to close and just slowly go through the trading day and look at um, at the program and how we can utilize uh, the program to have an edge in the market. Hey, Cameron. Everything's going great, man. So let's go through it. So we know we have, we can change these ATR dots. This is called a zone. So these are my zones. We can change these zones to any zone we want. I give you my preferred zones with the workspaces that, uh, that we made up for you when you have the program on your own computer. But you can change these zones. If you want to tweak it, you can because you do have a strategy that comes with this indicator. I'll go over that tonight, this evening also. So the next about 20 minutes, uh, we'll go over this indicator and strategy and show you how uh, how we can use it to get the edge in these markets. So basically, the um, the whole guts of the program is we're trying to catch wrongly positioned algorithms, wrongly positioned traders that are counter trend trading against the overall trend or tone of the market. And that is characterized by an opposite color, what's called speed bar, opposite color speed bars against ATR trend. So when you, these ATRs start printing red, we're going to look for cells. So when you see a cell come up, when you see green boxes start printing, and this is the beginning of the trading day on the 23rd, and we will go through the whole trading day slowly so you can see um, how this works. But what you want to do is, is you want to look for red ATRs, start printing, and we're looking for opposite color speed bars. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to see when opposite color speed bars come in. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, opposite color speed bar comes into my zone. And with the new uh, indicator, you're going to have, I'll get open it up for you. You're going to have, now it's not going to be called J zone. It's called um, SIM, SIM ATR, I believe Jarrell has it named. When we send the new one out, we'll probably name it SIM Zone. But for now, it's uh, so don't get confused. It's the same program. But what you have is you you have your zones. So, so this zone, I have 45 and a 26. But you know all my important zones. Everybody has them in the room. I show a 45, 38 in the room. I'll show you how a 45, 26 looks right now through the whole trading days. Uh, with the program you're going to be getting, um, it catches most of the moves on the S&P on a daily basis. So um, we'll, uh, we'll go through this, but you have an alert down here. The reason I want to show you this is alert, long alert and short alert. What the new updated program will do, which um, they, they give the same signals, what you have now and what you'll be getting, a little smoother ATR, but um, when this arrow fires off, that is the um, the program will sound an alert. So there will be, if you're running the strategy, it will say order filled short or order filled long. Or if you're not running the strategy, you're just running the indicator to manually enter these by yourself, 
then once this arrow fires, an alert will sound. Now you can change the alert because the alert on the indicator, and it's real loud, it's, uh, it's they're real loud. You can go over to the right and you can see where it says alert three. You can put alert two, alert one, alert four. If you like the gunshot sound, or if you like a beeping sound, or you know, there's different sounds you can put the alert to. And you can actually take this away and put your own alert in there if you want it. I know some of you have, um, which I had on my older program, I had uh, when the market was had me a sell signal, I'd be a submarine diving. And then if it was going up, it would be a rocket ship taking off. So there's kind of some neat sounds you can put in there. But you can, you, the, what we have in there is just standard beeps, gunshots, and stuff like that. Just change that to three or two or whatever you want. So when that arrow fires on a potential trade, it, it's telling you there's a potential trade on the, in, in that particular instrument that you're trading. Okay, so that's what that, that arrow comes up. So as we come down, so I had one trade up there, um, never broke the swing high, worked really well came all the way down. We're coming into uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We got up into the sell zone again. Now this is a 45, like I said, I'll show you. It's a 45, 26 zone. 45, 26 zone. I show in the room a 45, 38. I just want to show you for purpose of, you can change the zones to whatever you want. You can tweak it if you want uh, to whatever your uh, style of trading you want. Let's say the strategy, you optimize my strategy, and you're like, well, this zone is pretty effective. I know a lot of you guys like the 62% um, retracement, the golden ratio, because it calls uh, real big highs and real big lows a lot with the system on a regular basis. So maybe some of you want to do that. That's fine. You just plug them in there. Uh, but um, for, I'm showing you right now 45.26. But uh, the, what it is, what happens is, is once you get inside the zone, you know, if you're manually trading this, this, when you get an opposite color speed bar, this is when you, this is the advantage that we have right here. This is the edge we have in the market. We have the edge in the market at the high up here before the big, where is it at? Right there. We have an edge here in the market. And we have an edge here because it's opposite color speed bar against overall ATR trend. If ATR is red, we're going to look for green speed bars. Now, I have you can customize it to get less speed bars, meaning less volume spikes. If you only want to run a couple trades, right in here, I have a four as my speed candles. You can change that to three or two or one even, and you're not going to get a lot of trade setups, but it will show you where there's an actual a big spike of a possible reversal. So I have a I leave the speed candle at four speed period at 10. You can tweak this if you want. If you want more or less trades inside of a zone, I left this open, this code open, you guys. I'm not going to say, hey, you have to use this time frame that we use in the room. You know, this is educational software. And you can use this to your benefit to give you the edge on any type of market you want to do. So I left these parameters where you can change them. But I show you what I like, and uh, I, leave it, I leave it in the room static. Uh, 4538 but you know I love my golden ratio at 62 percent and you can go all the way down to 26 if you want uh, for shallow retracements but that is left there but these alerts will alert you if you do not run the strategy these alerts will alert you now let's say you just want to look for in the zone trades meaning let's say you get an offset color speed bar and it's outside of this zone let's say it's below it and a green comes up here if you click on zone and click on it, and, and you, you click on that zone or what have you when, with a strategy or indicator, if you are not inside of that zone, clearly inside that zone, then it will not fire an alert for you, okay? So you have to be inside that zone or no alert will fire, all right? So as we move on, so that's another setup. Your stop is always, remember, we, we do not have large stops on these. So he's two ticks above the swing high. If it's not going to work out, we'd rather stop us out with a small stop. As we move down, once again, this is a nice shallow retracement. It's a 26. You have a speed bar. Now, once again, this is the whole day of trading. I'm going to go through the whole day of trading so you can see a whole day of this. 
I'm not trying to cherry pick this. I'm just going to show you the whole trading day. So there's the first advantage we had, the edge in the market. Then we had another edge just after 8 o'clock Eastern. And now we're getting edge. It's my favorite time of day trade, 940 Eastern. That's when you see a lot of volume spikes, a lot of outflows going to work. That 940 to 950, you see a lot of potential in those trades. So that's what I like to look for. It. But you can see again, here's your another opportunity. There's your green bar against over ATR trend. It's at the zone and your arrow will fire and the alert will sound on the indicator. Okay. Same thing. We come up here. We come up to it. Um, the DS, which is our pull in. This is how this arrow is formed. You can change whatever you want to change. So you can come in here. If you, if you want it to be more sensitive and come on top of price right after the green bar for a reversal, or if you want to give it more confirmation, you can change it on the indicator. Just go into indicator and go down to DS, DS period and change this to whatever you want. I have it at 10 here, but you can change it to 20, put it to any type of sensitivity you want. If you put it to 20, it's going to give you, it's going to give you more confirmation when the market's already moving or higher. So you can change that to anything you want. Uh, this did not pull us in. No arrow formed. No trade. Um, if you close outside of the ATRs right here, you can notice no arrow trades on the new program. I have a program where if you close two candles outside of the ATR, then that move is potentially done. You're probably going to get a counter retracement. So the, the potential that you had on that trade setup uh, from midnight was here, here at 8, here at 9.45, and your last shot at it was at 9.50. And that's typically a morning session anyway before it starts correcting and counter trend trading back up. But that's the opportunity we had. That's when all the arrows formed. As we come back up, you'll notice no arrow formed. Why? Because we never got pulled in, and no, no alert will sound. Same here. No alert came up, did not sound. All right? None here. We got the wrongly position possible trade. No alert sound because of my filter I'm using. I'm using that DS filter. No trade. No trade. No trade. Here's a setup. Now the alert will sound on your speakers. You got a trade setup possible right there. You have now red ATR dots that are printing. Now since they're printing, our stop is two ticks above that swing high. Your entry is on this time frame right there and you can scale or what have you whatever you want to do now here's one that came this will actually be a this one would be a stop so if we come up into the uh, shallow this shallow retracement because it's a very shallow retracement and it gets into a trade then look how reverse back inside of it, and that is now a stop. So this is one of the ones that got stopped on the strategy today. So we're going to mark that one X. This one got the first target off. Runner got stopped out. Keep going. Here's a big one. All right, so this one never qualified. We have red ATRs, green bar prints, no arrow. Pulls us in. This one catches the high right up to the top of my zone of 45. Stops right on it. This is a big one. And then we get this big move down 92 all the way down to 72. That's a 20 S&P point move in a matter of 10 minutes. All right. So you get some big ones once in a while. I mean, this is a big one. So the key is, you know, have some runners. This is a huge one here. Real big one there, obviously. Big one there. So here's a, here's a double. There's a small stop. Here's a single. And then we go into, today we go into a real big, all four targets hit on this one as we come down. So as we come back up again, we come back up and they're trying to catch the rolling position traders again. This is wave, this is wave, uh, a wave three and a wave five pattern, which worked out well. So notice this though, and this is what you have to notice on the program. Notice how we did not close two candles outside of the ATR. So as long as you don't close two candles outside the ATR, the trend is still intact to the downside. You're anticipating 
that when this arrow fires that we're going south, we're going down, which it did. Algo stayed in this and it kept cranking down to the downside. But if you close two candles outside of it like it does over here, the ATR will just cut off and stop its printing. Okay, so this had to be a wave three, caught this big one there, caught this one here, even though it's at a higher high, your stop held you in. Another one, there's your arrow. This is what, at one o'clock in the afternoon. Again, look, look at the consistency of the program, what's neat about this program. Look at the consistency of catching the rolling position traders. You caught the high here, you caught it there, you caught it there, you caught it there, that didn't qualify, that didn't qualify, caught it there, that was a stop, caught it here, caught the big one, caught the big one, caught the big one. So there's, if you're patient enough and just wait for the optic color speed bar against the ATR trend, what it does, it allows you to put yourself in a position to win. So that's another big trade. The low, the bar was what, 74 and a half. You have potential down to, what, 57, so another real big uh, S&P potential. Then we come up after wave three and wave five. I mean, we had one big wave down, another wave down, another wave down. So hopefully, if you were trading today, you caught some of those waves. Then we come into a smaller wave. First target got off. Runner got stopped out at the shallow retracement right there. Did hit its first target, though. Then it came up, had a double top or M top. That almost hit target two, so that one worked out well inside the zone. Then we come up, we close two candles outside the ATR, ATR stops printing. What's that mean? You got to wait for green ATR, red ATR to start trend again. Then we come down. This is the whole trading day, by the way, guys. I'm not, we're going through all the trades. We come back up. Here's the wave, catches right at the top my 45 on the algo. And uh, there's your arrow. There's an alert that sounds on your speakers. That's a short. Uh, comes down, catches the shallow retracement at 26. Hits the speakers. That's a short. Remember, you're looking for optic color speed bars against overall ATR trend. And then catches a big one here. Up here, there's an the arrow. And catches another big one. So that's another one. So caught three, three good ones right in a row right there. So from uh, in the afternoon. Then we come up outside and we close two candle closes outside of it. ATR dot start printing. We need ATRs to start printing again to get in the direction of the trend. It starts moving down. You can see we're really going down and into the close. It's setting up for um, a six o'clock trade when we open back up at 6 p.m. tonight. I would anticipate this coming into the zone and stopping in between this 51, this area, getting green bars, and you should see a continuation. We should have a sell between probably 6, 7 o'clock tonight. Um, it's setting up for right there. So that's the whole trading day. You can see if you just, if you look at it through the whole trading day, instead of just trying to look at morning session, afternoon session, you get a really good feel for how it works. And really, that's just one zone. That's just a 38, 26 zone. I mean, a 45, 26 zone. And it just, it's, it's nice because, you know, there's your big move. Another big move, big move, big move. You just got to know the rules. If it closes outside the ATR, and, and this you get, it becomes a little bit more sophisticated this way, but then you can look for a retest long. But you don't have to do that. You can go with the overall trend direction and so on. So let's look at the strategy then against this. So we know what the indicator is now. We know it has the alerts for you. All right, we got the alerts for it. So what I've done is I went and I'm programming the strategy to emulate the indicator. So what you can do is you can, you can see this is the same thing as the indicator. So you want to put the same numbers in if you're trying to emulate the indicator, which I did. I have a 10, 4, 20, DS, a 90, 10. Length is 45, 145, 26, 126. Um, my second DS, I actually got a, I have it as 20, but it's not going to matter. Uh, but it'll be just a, a little bit off. But then the, uh, the 9010, uh, you have a start time and end time uh, on the algo. So it won't trade outside of these times. You have a target one, target two, three, and four. 
you can put in there, you can put your stop ticks in, um, break even. It's automatically going to go break even plus whatever ticks you put in after the first target. Daily goal, stop goal. I put this, these numbers high because I like seeing it trade all day. Um, but if you, let's say if you have a goal of, you know, 1,000 and you have stop loss of 300, it will automatically shut the program off automatically. But in any type of strategy, you should be watching it like a hawk anyway. Your computer could go down. You know, your internet could go down. I mean, the simplest way that I've done it in the past when I've traded my live monies on strategies, I just call the broker and flatten the position immediately. You know, because let's say your 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 computer stalls or anything can happen running strategies. That's why we make you guys sign the disclaimers we make you sign is that uh, running a strategy is very, very risky. So you just can't go and go out boating and let, run your strategy and just let it go. So if you guys do find a strategy you want to run in here, you know, you got to watch it like a hawk. That's why we have you sign all the disclaimers. But the, you want to, when you find something that you really like or zones you like, then you can actually run the uh, run let the strategy run the indicator for you. You can see that I've got it matching up uh, right over top of where it would normally match up over top of the indicator. Uh, yeah, this is a five Simrenko. Five Simrenko three days back, Thomas. Sorry about that. Didn't see your question. So five, three days back. Um, so you can do, you can, you know, you can, it, it, any trade that it comes up with, you know, it's going to show you what the strategy would have done based upon the parameters you put in. So you can see every single trade that the arrow fired, it's going to fire you in with the strategy. Okay. So this was before my 830. And here, look, see 830. It didn't take this one because I had 830. Now watch, if I do this, if I change this to incorporate both before 835, it will take that trade. So if I come into time, let's say I go 1.30 at night. Now let's just go, yeah, we'll go 1.30 in the morning, sorry. And then watch, it will pick up this trade now. It will fire this trade. This trade will fire in. And now it's picking up this trade. Overnight had a huge overnight session. Obviously, this is a big trade. It caught the big runner all the way down. So, you know, you can, you can, when you find what zones you like, you can put the strategy to do that. The strategy will not shut down. I've got it where if in a fast market, it will just ignore the trade. So let's say you you forgot about news was coming out and it starts taking off. It will just not fill you and ignore the trade. You know, if you gap up, gap down, it's not going to lock limit you in or out. Um, I got I got it in there where you know it won't uh, it won't do that. So it will just say error on Ninja, market's too fast, you hit click OK, and the strategy's still running. So what, what I like to do is if it, the market has news at 8.30, and wait until like 8.35 and turn it on or, or what have you. So, but that's what you can do. So the strategy, you can see, comes up in here. Now, some of you won't even want to run the strategy, but that's fine, and some of you will just want to run the indicator, that's fine. They're both the same. So the indicator arrow fires the same way, same place as the strategy, but you got to put the numbers in the same. Remember, I'm leaving this open code for you guys so you can tweak it to whatever you want to tweak it with. Some of you may want to scalp. Some of you want to position trade. Some of you will, will, will use larger time frames, and some of you will use smaller time frames. For, for instance, um, let's go back. This is my Simrico bar. Let's go to a uni bar. The standard Ninja Trader gives out free uni bars. Some uh, some of our long-term traders use uni bars. So let's just go in here and let's put this back on. I'll use a standard 110, 110 uni bar. So let's, you don't have to use our Sim Rinko bar. You go to uni and let's just put a 1 and a 10 and a 10. All right, hit that. So it's the same type of um, process though, is that it's, it's going to look for the same type of setups as it would normally do once we get fires in. So it's the same thing. It's looking for offset color, speed bars, inside of zones, you know, to look for that. Now, as you get to optimizing this, you're like, well, how can I optimize this to find on different markets? Or how do you? So you can go into, into historical, but, you know, Phil, be, Phil does a lot of back testing. He'll tell you, and so does Tina and so on. Listen, Historical is not 
the super most super accurate thing in the world. So you know, so if you use you you can use it as a guideline, you know, for you. So let's just say that you're looking at it and you just pull it up and it's like, you know, you say, well, it's seventy eight percent accurate, and then uh, you know, just this is just two trading days. Um, what I like to look at this just gives me a baseline for if I'm close on on something. The short trades are 80, 75 percent, but I like to look at largest winning trade versus losing trade right away. I like to look at also the profit factor. I mean, this is you know 2.32 using those what I have in in there already. But you know, this sort of gives you a guide. You know, if you're in the right direction on what type of market that you're looking at. And like I said, this is just two trading days of leave. Yeah, this is three trading days total. So like one was 80% for the day, 75%, one was 100%, you know, for percent win. So, you know, that will give you a guide if you're in the right direction. But then what you can do is you can forward test. Because when you back test some of these strategies, and it's not just Ninja Trader, it's Strategy Runner, it's all of them, you know. You can put in their slippage and all that, put your slippage in, and it's still off. So I always like to forward test. And then if you do decide to put live monies to this to work, where you have your sign disclaimer, you know, if you can't make uh, ticks on the on the minis, you know, the micros, you can't make ticks on the on the on the macro or the, or the big contracts. So the the micro is a good way for you to get a good feel for how this works, also. But you can, like I said, my point is is that you can use, um, you don't have to use our SIM Renko bars. You can, you can use any type, of, um, any type of bar type that you're comfortable with and you like. You know, we just, I'm, I'm comfortable with the SIM Renko. I, I like it, it works very well with the system. And, um, you know, produces a nice swings. These are very nice, easy swings for me to see. You know, but if you don't like the strategy, like I said, you know, you just click the strategy off. You don't have to run a strategy. You can just run the strategy and not even run the indicator. Let's say you want to do this. Let's say you want to run the strategy and it'll, it'll say order filled. That means the the strategy is filled. It tells you that well, I want to try to I want to try to get my own filters and and try to get this here, right? Instead of letting the automated trading system do it, I, I may want to look for a little retracement or a backfill. I want to try to get this here, you know, and then or if it fills over here. On, on the on these guys and it will order fills it, it gives you an alert let's say you don't want a beeping sound you want a uh, the verbiage it says order filled you know then and you can put it on sim and still manually trade your sim uh, in your live account so you can do that by letting that strategy run or what you can do which a lot of traders like to do they don't they won't even run a strategy they just like manually trading it and it's very clean very crisp easy to see and then all of a sudden you can blow it up and now you're waiting for the opposite color speed bar into the zone and waiting till the arrow fires. Okay, so it depends on what you want to do. That's why I'm making this totally customizable. I'm almost finished with wrapping this thing up. Uh, what I have to do, uh, which it's not doing it correctly. So right now, this is the indicator, right? So we can see it's working great on all of them. What I got to fix, and before I send this out to you, I want it to hit zone. So if I click zone here, this is what I'm still working on the strategy and the indicator, and then we'll get this out to you. If I click zone, then I only want arrows to fire off that actually have ticked inside the zone. See, this one caught it right here. This one caught it. But see, these are not catching it yet when I hit the zone. So that's what I'm working on before I get out to you. After I get that's a, this is the last piece I have to do. Everything else is working very smooth on it. So if I don't click zone, it just shows you all arrows with all qualified trades inside or outside the zone. So if I click this off, and it's just going to show me all qualified trades with catching the rolling position traders at the zone or inside the zone or below the zone. Let me find one below the zone. I don't think I had one today. I think all of them hit the zone. Let me see if I find one. They all hit the zone today. It's pretty accurate today. Yeah, so they they all, well, here's one. Okay, so right here. You see how this never hit the zone and no arrow fired? So if you click zone, then you're not going to have any alert 
the sounds with that. Okay, if you hit, if you click zone, this will sound an alert because you're inside the zone. This will sound an alert, alert. If you uncheck zone, it's going to fire. It's going to fire an alert here and fire an arrow here also. Inside or outside the zone, every time there's rolling position uh, um, speed boxes that come up. Okay, that's the main thing. But the main thing to the system, you see how smooth the ATR is. It's very, very smooth. And this is the whole trading day. Look how smooth it is. Very, very smooth. And like I said, if you wanted to get less trades, you can come in and just reduce, reduce your speed candles, which is going to catch the volume reversals. Uh, let's go down to two. You can keep going lower until... You only get a few trades. And this had a big volume on all of them. Now that didn't do it. Okay, so it caught them all actually, no matter if you even reduced it. So, but what you can do is you can play with those numbers, and if you just want one or two trades on a larger time frame, you can reduce it to get, let's say, the eight sim Renko to show one or two trades a session. But the key is what you want to try to do is we want to try to look for wrongly positioned traders at these key levels. Okay, Gerald Good, shut that off. How many minutes is that? Yeah, it's 30 minutes. So you can review that video. So I'm almost done. We'll wrap this thing up. We'll get this new ATR out to you, get the new strategy. Um, you will have to sign a disclaimer on the new strategy coming out, um, obviously because it's uh, you can throw live bullets at it. Um, uh, the thing that we will continue to have conference calls um, other traders like Tina and some other traders, they have their own back testing software servers they can back test this with. You know, go for it and 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 tear it up. You know, this is a very uh, robust system already. But if you want to tweak these zones, tweak them. You know, I'm giving you the best zones that I think. Like today's trading was very, it, it was awesome. I mean, if you look at all the zones, they just kept hitting zone after zone after zone after zone after zone. It was just a beautiful trading day to trade the system uh, on the S&P. But um, you don't trade the S&P though, and this works on future stocks. I'm actually exploring uh, um, ETFs in it now to position trade ETFs. Uh, I'd like trading my stock account. So um, also, so I'm looking at different things, maybe the diamonds and the spiders with it. And so, um, you know, this thing is not just futures. It's currency, it's stocks, ETFs. I'm actually the third week of options expiration week. I'm going to look at the OEX options with it and trade and trade the option route. It, this actually works on the option route also. So they're very volatile and um, it, it catches some nice, uh, I'm going to look at in the money or just out of the money OEX uh, calls and puts also. So, you know, there, there's just, this thing is, that's, that's what I mean. I left the code open for you guys because you can really customize your own trading style, how you want to do this, you know, because these zones are very, very, very effective. And um, I'm just making it easy for you so you can see when the wrong position uh, counter algorithms or traders are coming in. And we want to try to go against that. When they're buying up inside this zone, we want to be selling, you know, that, and we need to use filters. That's why the arrow helps you out on filtering some of those trades. I'm over right now. I've actually have, um, I've, have, I've talked to Jiro about it already. So I'm, I have an outside programmer working on it right now, Tina, because I can't get heads or tails from it. So we have somebody outside actually looking at it right now. Yep. So I'm going to have a conference call with him and he's going to get on my computer this week and we're going to try to nail it down. The only thing, the only the thing it is, it just won't take all just zone trades. Like it will take all trades all day long with the with the arrow, right? It just won't take all trades inside the zone for some reason. I can't figure out why it's doing that. So we are going to figure it out and get that fixed, and then I'll, as soon as I get that done, um, the program is completed. I mean, it's finished. I just got to make sure that that is finished, though, because that, that that's a good little. That's a good filter to have because some of you just, some of you won't want to take any trades unless it's inside of the zone. 
and that's a really good filter to have an alert that only alerts when it's inside the zone. Like it hits maybe 40 to 50 percent of them, maybe a little bit more, but it should be hitting them all. And that's I got to figure out why it's not alerting me to, like it shows it live all day long, but the alert's not firing off for some reason. Let's see. One thing I love to do, do. How do you trade when the market goes above your first level's ATR and reverses in direction of trend? Oh, you mean the retest trades, John? You talking about re retest longs, retest shorts? So you're talking about the failure trades? Yeah, if it gets outside of it, there's just no, so right here, if it gets outside of it, it's just not going to fire an entry. There's no entry that's going to fire. You need to wait till the ATR dot start printing again. And then you'll, you'll try to position yourself in. So let me find one. Hold on. Right here. So here, you see how you close outside of it and we get no entry? No entry. ATR dot start printing. You got to wait till the ATR dot start printing again. And then you try to get on that next group of cells next wave down here and here what i will do once i but that's i'm going to get that out to you guys so you can start playing with this thing i am going to incorporate the retest longs and retest shorts into this because it works well but you know that's going to take me that's going to take some some programming to do to get it right and i'd rather get the simple stuff out to you it's very simple the program is very simple right to the point ATR down, we look for opposite color speed bars, and we look for a pull-in bar. And this will be an arrow-based system to, to give us a high probability setup. We're going to keep it as simple as possible. Right, if I keep, if I don't want to add no more trades in there, that's why, that's why I replay that and watch the whole trading session and see if your own individual filters would have caught that, uh, these swings, because that's a whole entire trading day I just filmed on the S&P. So um, you can see how the swings were caught uh, pretty much ever since midnight all the way to close. Can you put your three levels of ATR in one chart? Yes, you can. Yep. You can do that for confluence. What camera's saying, can I put different zones in and have the arrows fire at those different zones? Yes. Yep. I just gave you the basic zone here so you can you get an idea. And that's a pretty basic zone, 26 to 45. You get your shallow and you get your mid. Any other questions? Also, if you do guys, if you guys do trade the Unibar, um, if you're looking for a five sim Renko entry, the comparable Uni is 14, 114, 14. That matches up pretty well with the uh, um, with when the algo is getting short or long. If you want to know when the algo is going to be going short or long, um, manually entry. If you wait for these speed bars to come up, the one ten ten would be even better. But the algo right now, it's about a one fourteen fourteen is where it's getting in at within a within a twenty within a, a ticker a tick or so. Yeah, John, there's no extra the first strategy for the strategy or indicator. It's it's all it's all in the one. Yeah. And like I said, I, I leave it open coded where you can you can play with this what zones that you want. Some traders want deep zones and some traders want shallow zones. Like I said, the market only retraces around sixty two to seventy percent retracement, maybe once a day in the morning on a really good one. You know, maybe twice. You get these zones like this that happen all day long, though. You get 26 to 45 where it just happens over and over and over and over until you finally break out of them and hit that deep zone of the golden ratio around 62%, and then you get pulled in, and that should be a real, real nice retracement. So everything's included.
Yeah, the auto trader does not, uh, to answer your question, John, the auto trader does not take trades if it's not qualified. These arrows, in other words, this the auto trader will only trade where these arrows are at. So if I turn this back on, I'll watch, I'll show you. It's only going to trade where the indicator is at if you put the same if you put the same levels in. So see, it's only going to trade. That's where the indicator said to go short with the arrow. That's where the arrow is. See, that auto is going right beside it. This one. That's the arrow. Auto is going right beside it. All right, so it's only going to go when the auto tells you to, when the, when the indicator tells it to do it. So if you're, you get familiar with the indicator and you love what the indicator does, then if you want to run the strategy, go, go for it. I mean, you just got to sign some disclaimers and so on, and you find certain markets like, you know, David loves the Euro. euro. It's super, super accurate against the unibar, the euros, and so is some of the other currencies. It doesn't come up very often. But when it hits, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So, you know, some traders like different type of markets. It depends. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking for not only futures, but other markets for this to work in. And so far, you know, like Bitcoin futures, we have traders that trade Bitcoin futures with it, micros, and it works well. So it, it's, it's really universal to how you want to do it. It's the same plan, though. We're trying to look for the ATR to give us a direction. And then we're looking for the speed bars to show us where possibly a possibly a high potential reversal is going to happen. Any other questions? Yeah, like D David, uh, he, he likes the Unibar, the one ten ten. He shared it with all the members in the room. So I mean, we're very open to sharing stuff. I mean, you know, the, well, we're small fish in a big sea. You know, we we can't move markets. And, you know, I mean. A lot of us doesn't do the volume that, that Tina does per se in the room. She does a lot of contracts, but, you know, it just, you know, some traders do small contracts, some traders do large contracts, but we're all on the same page. We all want everybody to be successful. We all help each other out. I mean, that's the whole key. So that's what you're going to find with all the members, long-term members. Everybody's on the same team. Well, we all have one goal in the mind. We have one goal, helping each other out and trying to extract ticks from the market. All right.